Hi, welcome to Small Guru on AACAD. This is Rajiv Lochan. In this uh, video demonstration, I am going to show you how you can uh, debug inventor add-ins using Visual Studio. And I uh, will be using uh, Visual C Sharp as my language. Okay, I hope you would have gone through my earlier uh, screencast on uh, developing add-ins using C Sharp for inventor. So in the last screencast we had uh, developed this eacad inventor add-in for okay to debug this particular uh, add-in there are two options one is like if you are using visual S visual studio professional it has an option which you can debug on the out of the box if you are using a visual studio express that doesn't have that option so you need to make an workaround which is as shown you create a file with this name uh, eacad inventor add-in for dot cs project ok we will go back to this explorer you can see that this is created by the template itself now we need to create one file which has the same file name same extension but appended with dot user this should be the file name and the content of content of this particular uh, file should be as follows okay so basically uh, it's some sort of uh, instruction that uh, is given to studi visual studio and it says that this is the main uh, command which says like it can be debugged and it can have any CPU configuration and this is an executable file that is uh, that should be loaded for debugging and uh, the project view should be of show all files so this is pretty much the standard except like if you have installed uh, inventor elsewhere or if you are using a different version of inventor you should uh, replace it with it and once we are done with it uh, we'll go to our uh, page okay here we are we'll just insert a uh, what do you say halt point somewhere here okay this is our uh, breakpoint then we'll run this so it builds up and uh, so you can see oops sorry okay we'll uh, step over then you can see if you hover your mouse on this this will show you the object so basically this is the object explorer you can uh, go through this uh, this will help you in debugging okay I'll just quit this uh, debugging session I'll use uh, shift F5 so yeah you can see that the debugging session has been halted this is how you can uh, debug using uh, Visual Studio Express so basically you had created a file if you want to have a debugging session for uh, Visual Studio Professional the same thing would apply but uh, how you can do is you go to this uh, project go to properties and there you have a debug uh, tab click on it and we need to change this to configuration as active and platform should also be active and we should click this option start external program and uh, give the path to inventor.exe this has already been added because of our uh, file and uh, one more change you need to make is uh, you need to click on this icon which shows show all files I hope it's uh, clear and uh, we'll remove this breakpoint and then we'll again debug it and this time you should see our uh, inventor loading up as we don't have any breakpoint on here it will uh, directly go to load up uh, you can see the activity out here so it's taking some time and uh, eventually it should be up okay I guess uh, it would be up and uh, it's left to you to carry on more uh, debugging session 
Thanks for watching. Okay. We'll uh, step over. And then you can see if you hover your mouse on this, this will show you the object. So basically, this is the object explorer. You can uh, go through this. Uh, this will help you in debugging. Okay, I'll just quit this uh, debugging session. I'll use uh, Shift F5. So, yeah, you can see that the debugging session has been halted. This is how you can uh, debug using uh, Visual Studio Express. So basically, you had created a file. If you want to have a debugging session for uh, Visual Studio Professional, the same thing would apply. But uh, how you can do is you go to this uh, project, go to properties, and there you have a debug uh, tab. Click on it, and we need to change this to configuration as active, and platform should also be active. And we should click this option, start external program, and uh, give the path to inventor.exe. This has already been added because of our uh, file. And uh, one more ne change you need to make is uh, you need to click on this icon which shows show all files. I hope it's uh, clear. And uh, we'll remove this breakpoint and then we'll again s debug it. And this time you should see our uh, inventor loading up. As we don't have any breakpoint on here, it will uh, directly go to load up. Uh, you can see the activity out here. So it's taking some time and uh, eventually it should be up. Okay, I guess uh, it would be up and uh, it's left to you to carry on more uh, debugging session. Thanks for watching.